I just want to party all the time, party all the time, party all the time. All right, so uh, what you're looking at here is the previous generation vCore 95 because I sent my uh, vCore 95 demo, the new 2023 demo back to Tenants Warehouse. Uh, so I don't have that anymore. Um, as you can see, it's the one with the blue stripe uh, previous generation stick. Um, if, uh, if you're not here to watch the talking head, uh, I'll give you the short version of the story. Um, I've already asked my brother to place me order for two sticks um, of new V Core 95 to 2023 one as soon as he could get some discounts on it. Uh, that's how much better I thought that the new V Core 95 is compared to this particular generation, the previous generation V Core 95, which is the stick that I use uh, on a regular basis. This is my regular daily stick uh, that I use all the time. So no need to beat around the bush. Um, in my opinion, uh, Yonix has taken everything that's great about this last generation v 95 uh, how quick it is to the air, how whip it is, uh, the precision, the accuracy, uh, everything that's great about the 16 by 20 pattern, and pretty much retained the whole DNA throughout in the new v 95, the 2023 version. Uh, but they've taken uh, the best part of the stick uh, and dialed everything up to 11, uh, is what I would describe it. So primarily, um, when you impact the ball is where the big difference is between this stick and the new stick. Uh, the 2023 version um, has uh, the same vibration dampening technology, I believe, uh, but Ma Yonix has managed to tune it in a way where only a certain frequency is kind of highlighted. Uh, so the best way I could describe it is like uh, this previous version, this previous generation of V-Core with the new vibration dampening technology feels like it's over dampened. Every time you hit a ball, there's always that um, subtle sense that you can't really tell where you actually impact, uh, or at least I can't. Um, the, every, since everything's dampen, there's no real vibration trying to travel to your hand or the arm, which is great for a tennis elbow. Uh, I used to suffer a little bit of it when I first started using the stick. It quickly went away when I switched over to the multi-filament strings. Um, so I was surprised when I picked up the new V-Core 95, the 2023 version, and played it with it extensively. I was playing close to two hours a day uh, for almost a whole week uh, when it's not raining. Even when it's raining, I was out there hitting uh, just for fun. Um, I had felt zero pain in my elbow, despite the fact that I think they made some changes to vibration tech. Um, so again, the best way I could describe it is um, it's like hitting with an HD filter, or at least it feels like you're hitting with an HD filter. Uh, the new 2023 V-Core feels different, like everything's just a little bit sharper than this version. Uh, when you impact the ball, everything feels like it's a little bit more uh, precise. Um, it, it didn't give you as much of the dampening feel, although I think the vibration and dampening mesh is still there. Um, but the vibration that are transmitted through as you impact the ball is of the kind that doesn't either hurt your arm or it actually makes you uh, more tuned to the ball, uh, if that's a good explanation for it. Um, I like to use car analogies because I'm a car guy. Um, imagine if you have a sports car and you put a set of uh, um, stiffer springs in it, right? So with that stiffer springs, you could, you could actually put a set of dampers or shocks and struts that, uh, that, that goes with it that tunes out or dampens the high frequency movement of the spring versus one that allows you to also uh, not necessarily tune out as much of the low frequency movement of the spring, allowing the vehicle to set. So what the high frequency vibration tuning does for you is when you hit a pothole, uh, AKA when you miss hit a ball or shank a shot, um, that vibration is dampened and you don't necessarily feel it. But when you hit the ball solidly and you hit the ball 
in the pocket in the sweet spot, that vibration is transmitted through the stick and you actually do feel it. So again, back to the car analogy, when you hit a pothole, if the spring, even if the spring is stiffer, if you manage to tune out the high, high, high frequency movement of the spring using the dampers, then you wouldn't necessarily feel the bump or the speed bump or the pothole as much. Versus when you're in the middle of a turn, uh, you're enjoying your sports car, you're going through the corner super fast, uh, that movement, the slow speed movement, isn't necessarily tuned out as much. So the car is allowed, or the suspension is allowed to settle, and you can go through the turn uh, just as fast, if not faster than before. So that, I think, is what uh, Yonex did with the new stick. Uh, particularly, I believe, and don't quote me on this, the online spec, or at least a few reviews I've read, um, the new V-Core 95 is actually softer than the previous generation, this current gen this generation of V-Core 95. I think this is a RA64, while the new V-Core 95 is an RA62. Um, so that, uh, what they've done is actually the reverse of my car analogy. They've actually made the stick a little bit softer so that the vibration isn't as harsh on your arm, but they tuned the vibration in a way where the slow speed vibration is tuned out while the high speed vibrations retain or vice versa, one way or another. So while it's hitting, it didn't hurt as much or didn't feel like it hurt when I actually did shank a ball and shank it badly. Um, whereas on this particular stick, you feel it when you shank the ball. Uh, and when you do pocket the ball right, it felt great on the new stick versus this old one. This old one, everything's pretty much all muted and dampened in a way that you don't really feel that much of anything uh, with the 2021 version of the V-Core 95. So the other change uh, that Yonex made to the 2023 version of the V-Core, and I've shown this in my previous video when I'm comparing the 298s, uh, is that they've increased the width up here at point at where the two and the 10 is to kind of stretch the top half out a little bit. Uh, this effectively increasing or softening some of these uh, strings over here on the crosses near the top and moving the sweet spot up a little bit and expanding the sweet spot uh, toward the top of the bracket a little bit more. And that effectively um, didn't change the ball or the racket as you play. Because uh, as long as you impact the ball at this dead, at this dead center uh, sweet spot, these two sticks actually play very, very similar. And I played these two sticks back and for, uh, forth for hours on end, switching between the new 2023 and the old 2021 V-Core 95. Um, and really the end results are, uh, you know, before you hit the ball, the swing, they, they swing alike. It, feel, it feels almost the same as you swing. Um, and then after the impact, the end result is very similar. You get the same near depth uh, you get the same control in the, in the precision of direction. Um, however, uh, when you do kind of hit toward the top half of your sweet spot, like for example, instead of hitting dead center on your sweet spot, you were to move it two strings up and you hit it right about here, instead of right here, these couple of strings actually made a huge difference. It almost feels like you're hitting with a bigger stick than you really are with this newer generation of the V-Core 95. So um, the best I could describe it is, um, you know, I, when I serve, I, I uh, tend to hit a little bit above the center of the sweet butt spot sometimes anyway. Um, so uh, I managed to capture my, my serve on video and free string, they notice on my, the last of my two serves, uh, the second to last serve, I actually end up impacting the ball right about here, about two to three strings above where the usual sweet spot is. And it feels like I had the biggest bomb serve in my life, or may maybe not the biggest bomb serve in my life, but it felt great. Uh, and um, just from looking at the video, or at, at least when I hit the ball, I knew it was faster than usual. Um, and then the very next serve, I managed to hit right here, dead center, and where the, the sweet spot is or should be. Uh, and the surf feels just like a regular surf that we hit with this uh, consistently day after day after day after day. Um, so yeah, I mean, um, to me, uh, that's, that's a benefit because 
I, I don't always hit consistently right here dead center in the sweet spot. In fact, when I tend to miss hit, I tend to miss hit a little bit above. Um, so it actually gives me extra pop compared to this particular stick uh, versus this one where it's fairly consistent no matter where you hit generally within the sweet spot. Uh, so to some, that may be a detriment because if you're used to hitting this particular stick and you're used to where the sweet spot is, sometimes when you hit a couple of strings away uh, on top, uh, the end result may not be what you expect. Um, so according to my brother, he had the same play test uh, and he didn't like the new 95 primarily because when you do miss hit, uh, it doesn't give you the same kind of consistency. I love it because for my serve, um, like I said, I tend to hit a little bit higher up on a string bed anyway. So uh, I had a fantastic day serving um, with the new 2023 Vcore 95. Uh, and, and that pretty much kind of made me fall in love with the stick was when I was swinging it, um, basically the same way I serve with the stick, uh, doesn't take much edit or alteration in the way I swing that particular stick. In fact, I, I play with the 2023 just like I will play with this and just occasionally it just gives me a lot more pop on the serve, uh, that, that unexpected extra few MPH is really welcome, uh, in my book at least. Um, so in conclusion, um, my thoughts on this is if you own, played, or love the 2021 previous generation, this particular stick, the, the 2021 V Core 95, uh, and you're on the fence, um, don't be. The new 95 plays and, and the end result is, is very similar, the same DNA, except everything is just about it, it's just a little bit better, especially when it comes to the feel of the ball. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't hesitate to switch this um, and get the new stick. Um, if you play with the previous generation to this though, like the all red, all red V Core 95 uh, or the SV version of this, I think, um, there's some doubts because I've never played with those sticks before, so I can't really make any mental comparison between all three or four generations of it. Um, and there are those that swear that the SV or the all red version is significantly better than this uh, and it's still better than the 2023 version. Um, I can't speak to my inner chapel because uh, I've never played with that particular stick before, uh, but the inner Dan says the 2023 VCO 95 is well worth the investment. So uh, if you're on the fence um, and if you're basing it off of my personal opinion, I think you should get it. But Hey, um, we're all a little bit different. That's why they have these uh, demo programs. I would highly suggest though, go do try, try uh, get a demo, hit for it for a week, uh, hit for it for 10, 15, 20 hours, as long as you can. Um, it honestly is a very, very nice stick. Uh, and I am now waiting for my brother to order me to. Thank you and goodbye.